Welcome back to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz. Our guest, Josie Gonzalez, she is a member of the Board of Supervisors in San Bernardino County. She's currently serving as chair, and we must congratulate her on your recent re-election. Over 60% of the voters, 63% voted for Josie Gonzalez. What went right? Wow. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so very much for your congratulations. Please. I'm very proud to accept. Uh, what went right? Uh, a lot of hard work, mm -hmm. um, big time opportunity that the voter base gives me day after day, week after week as I perform my duties from the County Board of Supervisors. And it, it has enabled me to create a consistent, um, hardworking platform that the people ultimately have come to trust and continue to give me their support. And what's interesting is, and you have told this to me in the past, is you're not necessarily campaigning just during campaign season. You're speaking with your voters, your constituents, all year round. Well, every single day that uh, we get up with God's grace and go to work, we're given an opportunity to um, repeat uh, any uh, communication, any resolution that we can bring to a situation. The, the public never knows when they will have need to pick up the phone and call my office. But when they do, I want them to be able to say, I found the information, I found a solution, there was recourse, there was resolution, and that word of mouth type of experience is what makes my staff strong, my district office very strong, and continues to bring about election after election the type of success that we need. And I wanna do talk about the budget that was recently passed by the county. I think it's fair to say that the Board of Supervisors has had a tough few years. There's been some indictments of former members, current members, yet you continue to operate successfully and as I understand it, you passed an on-time budget with not much dissension, contention on time. Absolutely. Uh, I will tell you that this was an extremely difficult budget to work on simply because as m more years of us being in a very difficult economy, it gets more difficult to cut what you've already cut three or four times before and we're no longer cutting fat. There is no fat left, right. there's nothing but muscle. So it's really hurting and being able to bring this budget forward and have all the questions and constraints addressed prior to that that board meeting was really an accomplishment. I think one accomplishment that the city of San Bernardino, inside the county of San Bernardino, has to crow about is that you will be receiving one of two Amazon distribution centers in the state. I mean, this is huge news yes. for a region that has been hammered. It's supposed to open up when, Supervisor? I believe in one year. So this is coming down the pike over a thousand jobs, if not more. How important is this to the city and the county? Uh, this uh, project, this Amazon relocation project, are the red blood cells that the city well of San Bernardino, the San Bernardino County, have long been deprived of because of this poor economy. It is up to us to immediately take advantage of making, in making sure that we have the trained workforce, mm. that we work closely with Amazon to identify what their human trained resources are going to be. And on top of it, not only do you get the jobs, but you get some of the sales tax because the sales happening in your county. Absolutely. Amen to that. Absolutely. Uh, we cannot uh, overlook or underestimate what a beautiful opportunity this is and meeting the needs of Amazon is going to be key. Her name is Josie Gonzalez, Chair of the Board of Supervisors in San Bernardino County. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.